Hello everyone, I... This is Mr. Guy Maya. I decided that I would make a tutorial about how to create a new custom map for Crusader Kings 2. As this is a problem I have seen quite a few times on the forums is there's no definitive tutorial on how to create a completely new map. Yes, there is a tutorial on how to add a new province, but it doesn't tell you everything you need to know. So let me just scroll through the folders real quick, get here, so first of all, oh, and let me just point out, I have a second screen, the program I'm using only records my main one, so if you see anything go off the screen, that's where it's going. But first of all, you need to know that your modding folder is in the My Documents, Paradox Interactive, Crusader Kings, Mod. You need to create a folder, whatever the name of your mod is going to be. I am pointing this out for those who don't know, and this is the first tutorial they're watching of how to mod. So next, we need to create a .mod folder. Despite what this is showing, you do not open it with a media player. You would open it with either Notepad or, my preference, Note, Notepad++. This is very simply what it looks like. You have name, which is the name of your mod, the user directory for the temporary files. This keeps its save files separate from the vanilla game so that you won't crash when you try and load uh, a game with a different map. This is for use with older um, versions of the game. I don't know if the newer version uses this, um, so I just leave it in there so that it, my mod is compatible with older versions as well. These are very important, these replace paths. What these do, actually I'll tell you that later since so you don't quite need to know that now, but just know they are important. So next, I'm going to copy over the uh, map folder I have in my uh, the mod I'm currently working with on. Let's just copy that over. What you would do is you would go to the vanilla game and copy that map folder over, but this is just closer. There's no file differences in any way, so don't worry about it. So you see there are a bunch of files here. Let me point out what each one relates to, and I'll zoom in a bit on these so you can see better. We have provinces.bmp. What this does is lays out where all the different provinces for the map are. Terrain paints the terrain onto the ground, onto your map. Topology is the height of the ground. So, black being the lowest, white being the highest. So this gray here is land, this is all underwater. Trees, exactly what it sounds like, it puts trees on your map. And rivers, puts rivers on your map. We're going to start with provinces.bmp. For this, I suggest having a program called Photoshop, if you haven't heard of it. It's a very nice editor. Now, if you're using GIMP, I apologize, I don't know how to do this process in GIMP, as, as you can see, I use Photoshop. Anyways, so, first of all, we're going to paint all of this white, for the simple fact that we want to start from scratch. You need to make sure that the color code for it is number sign F F F F F F F as you can see I created a new layer I'm just doing that don't worry you can go ahead and delete the old layer if you want it doesn't really matter basically just it's whatever's on top here so we'll paint a very simple province no we'll just make the whole map one giant big province for now until so that you can see what to do I'll make it blue so there's my one huge province that takes up the entirety of the map.
very simply. That's all you have to do with the provinces.bmp. Let me make sure I'm saving this in the right spot before I overwrite my uh, current project. Oh, there's a problem I made. See this? Don't do that. If you use, if you use um, this, you have to make sure it saves it as a .bmp. Provinces.bmp must always be a .bmp. Do not let it become a PSD or anything else. Simply overwrite the old provinces.bmp in your mod folder. Do not overwrite the one in your vanilla game. It shouldn't need to be said, but just don't do it. When it brings up the BMP options, I believe, I don't know for Macintosh, so I'm just going to use Windows because I'm running a Windows. I don't know if Macintosh computers should use the OS 2, but make sure depth is 24 bit. There we go, there's our new provinces. Now, provinces is done we'll go ahead and exit that out since we're not going to need it back to this folder next let's go to topology now notice the colors are indexed meaning the the um you can't create new layers you can't put blue or anything on there meaning the, it'll only use the specific colors. What I suggest doing is come up here to image. Before you start editing, come up here to image, go to color table, hit save, and put it in a location you'll remember, such as the map folder for your mod. Because if you do not have the specific table, the game will not be able to open your map and will crash on startup. So do remember that you need to keep this color table, so save it somewhere. Once you've saved it, I already have it, go switch from index color to red, green, blue color. This allows us to edit it like any normal document. I'm going to take this color, which is just barely above sea level, create a new, and put it in. Oh problematic. Make sure your opacity is set to 100%. There we go. Now, I want to, I'm going to explain something real quick, is 94, I believe 93 is the top of water, 94 and 95 are buggy, and 96 is the first level above water. I personally use 97, simply because 96 can leave you with some graphical errors. So do remember, 97 is land, is the first step, is the real first step of land, 93 the first step of water. Everything in between those two is a bit glitchy, so try not to use them if you can. Let's delete the, I'm gonna delete the old one, the old layer. Uh, now, remember what I was saying about that color index. We Now we come back here, go to mode, and we're going to switch back to indexed color. Here, we need to choose palette, custom, when we get to here. We need to load and choose the one you, wherever you saved it. As you can see, I have a folder with the vanilla ones in it so that I don't lose them. It should say 256 colors. Transparency should not be checked. There should be nothing in Mate or Dither. Once this is done, it should say indexed over here on the left. You shouldn't have seen any color change. And always to be safe, just check it real quick. Yep, still 97. Let's go ahead and save topology.bmp. Save as. Make sure it's a BMP. Save it in the same folder as you put it, province, your new provinces.bmp, overwrite the old one. Make sure file format is, well, 
I assume Windows for a Windows computer OS, if that's Macintosh, I'm not exactly sure. 8 bit is your depth. Do not do compress or flip row order. There we go. We're done with topology. And you know what? Just to make a just to uh, so you can see the effects, I'm gonna put a giant mountain on the uh, in the middle of the map. And we'll blur it a bit so that it. Oh, right. Forgot to do any sort of editing. Remember, you have to go back to RGB color. It doesn't like. So we're going to blur this around a bit so it'll have some softer edges instead of just one really high plateau. It'll be somewhat smooth around the edges. So remember, back to index colors. Custom. Okay, it's using the right ones. To back to index and save. Okay, so we're done with topology. Back to this folder. Uh, we'll edit rivers next. Rivers.bmp. This one is another one. Picky with its color table. See that word index right there. Make sure you have the color table saved. So again, to save a color table, go image, mode, color table. And on this panel, you hit save and save it to your location. To be able to edit, we have to go to RGB color mode so that it will allow us to edit it like any normal file. Now I'm zooming in really close so you can see several things. I've actually got this, my current file is messed up actually. As I did not make sure I was using the right colors for something. I apologize, Photoshop is freezing up. There it is. One second, I'm going to have to interrupt the recording here.